Hi everyone, this is Aki with another quick video on what to do right before you ready to publish your article on Medium. So I have an article that I actually imported and then I had to reorganize. Um, so I have this one on my blog first and now I wanted to publish on Medium to grow my audience. So right, you know, I'm pretty much done. So before I go publish, the most important thing for you is to click these three dots um, on the right next to publish and select more settings. So here, these settings are very important because some of them you won't be able to change if you um, do it after you publish. I'll show you in a second which ones, but this one kind of shows you the preview, how your story will look. This pin story option gives you an option to basically pin the story to the top of your uh, profile. And I mean, I just have my second story, so I'm not even selecting this. Um, this is author uh, area basically tells you, you know, information about you and whether or not you are partner program status. And I'm not because I don't have 100 followers. Um, now, reader interest. So here is you can have up to five tags. So I'll show you how you do that. So basically, um, you can start typing and um, option will appear. So I'm going to type slogans and if they have been actually tags already created, you can just select it. If you type something like uh, slogan, now you see it's saying it's new that has not been created. So. I'm just going to, you know, select the ones that have already been created and then you click save. So I just added some five tags and you take use of, um, make use of the five tags that you have to make sure your article is found. Then you scroll down to SEO settings. So here, um, let me show you what I previously have. So. Um, automatically you get the SEO title which is going to be used by Google search and this is exactly how you have it typed at the top you see um, part 2 15 best slogan generators but you have an option to actually uh, edit it and change it to make it better and there's a suggestion saying um, e SEO titles between 40 and 50 characters are best. So what I did is I basically tried to play around with it and so what was best for my title. And you see right here it says title preview 53 characters and it's showing me green. If you start typing, um, let's say for business now it's becoming red, meaning that it will be cut off. So some of the title will not show up in Google. So I'm going to remove that and keep it in green between 40 and 50, less than 60 characters. And now I'm going to um, save it. Now it's already saved. That's why I don't have that button, um, dark green. Then another option here is the SEO description and it's similar to what I what was with the title basically let me show you I just want to copy this the description is the first paragraph from your story and it may not relate necessarily so um, it's better for you to just write down some short description that will actually show up in Google and again here it says um, description summaries between 140 and 156 characters long are best so if you keep typing the story then it becomes red meaning that it will be cut off so don't do that so save it when it's one well between 140 and 156 characters so click save um, here's a promotion basically this basically you can create a link or give a link to your friends even if they don't have the paid option for medium they can always read your story so you can share that link with them by just clicking copy now content licensing um, so here you can specify edit the licensing that you have if others can 
copy distributed or um, or not and then this is very important to scroll down to advanced settings and click that arrow and here you have two different options one is the story URL will be automatic or you can customize it and actually create a better link so you see right now I have this link my title then some weird number 6473e and so that's what I did in my first story I didn't know I can adjust that but now I'm just going to delete that and just have my title by itself and click save story link so this thing it says you can only customize your link before publishing so once you publish you won't be able to customize it. so it's important and here you can also have this um, canonical link so that's that's true for my story because I actually I imported it originally from my blog so you want to check that if that's the case so Google doesn't think it's a duplicate duplicated content and you get penalized so definitely it's important if you have the story somewhere else and you can edit a canonical link right here if you click that and then of course at the very bottom you can delete the story but I do not want to do that so um, I'm saving and now I can go back to editor and now I can publish so thanks for watching